yeah, I guess we're quite blunt. Some people think oh, everybody's got these lederhosen and pretzel and a big mug of beer, but... We do uh, the dance, uh, Schublatteln. That's what people tell me in England. Oh, you do Schublatteln and uh, Wediendl. And we have the Oktoberfest and drink a lot of beer and uh, <laughs> eat sausages. I mean, everybody in Germany, everybody knows that if you go to Cologne or somewhere, you get a small mug of beer or a small glass and it's so different. Yeah, I guess in some way that's, I mean, that's true. We eat a lot of sausages. We have the Chris Kindlemarkt, we eat sausages. But I guess, as with every stereotype, um, can't say everyone <laughs> eats sausages and everyone wears the animal. Punctuality is something that is more an issue here than other countries. Everything runs very punctually in Germany. There are these stereotypes, for example, the Germans are always on time. <laughs> and uh, my experience says they are really on time. The thing about being on time, that's very true, and that's very difficult for us, for me as well. <laughs> I don't know if it's for me especially, I think it's for us. That's, I think that's very true, and, and, but it has a reason, though, so you kind of understand why it has to be, and you understand that it, yeah, things work better if you're on time, <laughs> definitely. And Lots of people in Germany do complain about the railways, which don't, which surprised me when I arrived. I was expecting everything to be punctlich. I think it depends on the person. Um, I fulfill all the stereotypes. I'm really organized. I'm always on time. I'm really German, <laughs> if you want to call that German. But I know loads of Germans who are not this way. I had an Italian flatmate and he was really late. So in the beginning they always thought we are late because he was so late. But then later on when I was a little bit less careful to be um, more on time, and when I started to relax, then they discovered that I'm the one as well who's late, so we're both the same. And um, this was one of the things, as things they discovered really uh, in, during the time that not all Germans are on time. The student from the UK, I would tell him that Germany is a very nice country, that people normally are very friendly, and that you just have to try to talk to them in the lectures that I attend. People don't <coughs> seem to make as much of an effort there to approach international students and it's quite obvious that we are international students because usually well I sit with another English person in one of the lectures and everyone around us can hear we're not speaking German. Uh, yeah you have to um, try to keep in contact with German people because they won't be your friends from the first day you meet them. You have to really have to try and give your best and um, yeah because Germans don't show their emo emotions when you first meet them and they're not really friendly when you first meet them that's what I think and that's what I think that a lot of foreign people experience when they're coming. I've had wonderful experiences with the German peers in class because they're yeah like I said, they're very open to dialogue and very interested to know, oh, where do they come from? Okay, what do you study? How is it different to what do we do here? It's quite interesting, yeah. The people are not so open. And they, they are sometimes a bit afraid of getting in touch and they are not so warm to each other, so... I mean, you see that when you arrive at the airport and you just show your passport and the person usually doesn't say, like, I think when coming from England and I just show my passport, it's like, hmm, it's not, <laughs> it's not, oh, thank you. <laughs> the Germans I got to know in the university were really um, helpful. So when we had some problems, they helped us with our studies and in everyday life. Touching uh, each other is not, is not so good. Well, I was told that um, shaking hands whenever you meet and whenever you um, leave each other is something that is rather um, rather German. I, I like the fact that in Germany it's much more common to use handshakes throughout your friendship, relationship, whatever it happens to be, which is not something we do so much in the UK. When I went to England, um, what I found quite strange was that people, I kept um, trying to shake hands with people once I meet them, say like, hello, my name is but they are just like not shaking hands. So here everyone shakes hands. For example, if we meet someone uh, the first time, we always kiss 
on the right cheek, and people in Germany are often just a handshake. And if you if you see someone on the street, you go up to say hi. You always say hi with a kiss on the with a kiss on cheek. And here it just it might just be like just a wave, even though you're close, but you just wave. Or and if it's someone, for example, with my buddy, then after the first couple of days, she was already kind of hugging me, because it, well, that was her way of of expressing that that kind of you know contact or whatever. For example, when I, I saw two um, Japanese girls meet each other for the first time and they were very polite, smiling and bowing their head a little bit and I was like, hmm, I've never seen that before. It was very interesting for me. And when I know people quite well, like my friends, we hug when we um, leave each other or when we meet. And I was never sure whether I could do that with um, a Japanese girl because I thought it's too much um, body contact for her. The mentality at the universities here is a different one. For example, it's supposed to be a lot of lot different um, than what English and Irish students are used to. Well, what I really liked in Cardiff was that um, it was much more personal. Um, there, your teachers knew who you are, and they um, knew what you were studying, where you came from. I think a great advantage that we have in Britain is that we have much more close relationship, much closer closer relationships with our academic staff. So generally, one would expect to have um, <clears throat> a tutor or a, a supervisor at university in your department who is responsible for your, not, not only for your welfare as far as your work is concerned, but also your general welfare, how you're coping with being a student, all that sort of thing. So for example, in England, if I wrote an email to my tutor or to my supervisor, everyone would reply immediately, whereas here, often you don't even get a reply. I, for myself, think that you, yeah, it's easy to get in contact with, with the teachers, but maybe this is because I'm studying theology and there are not so many students in theology, so everybody is in contact and you can, you can go to anybody and, and make a date or something. In England, there are smaller groups and so you can talk to your prof professor, to your teacher, more easily. Uh, the number of students in class, it's very much the same, I would say. We don't have four Lesungen back home from my department, because we're not that many. So, uh, so every class is just like, yeah, 20 to 30 students, so that, which is pretty much like the classes I'm taking here. And yeah, and, and, it's, and I like it when the professors are encouraging the discussion, which they often do here, especially in the Zeminaren. It's very, it's, it's the reason why I think we go to, to class, just to, to exchange opinions with other students on a certain subject, so, yeah. I think, well, I think it, it's probably easier for a German student to get to know a foreign student than it is the other way around. Um, I have the, exp the impression that German students sort of stick together and foreign exchange students sort of stick together. So during our studies mainly we were with German students so yes all the practices we took part in we were together with German students so at that time I, I, I could keep in touch with German students but um, such as parties or, or other programs excursions I was with other Erasmus students. It doesn't matter whether you're in Germany or in England or wherever. You usually tend to stick in those Erasmus groups or international groups. And the only way to, get, um, to avoid this is to join clubs, to join um, sports in university like, um, I don't know, volleyball or whatever. And there are a lot of um, opportunities. In England there are more opportunities than here, but you should just try and join student groups. If you are not talking to anyone, if you're just sitting there, I don't know if a lot of German students would, will talk to you because uh, they think, oh, does he not talk English, does he not talk German, is he strange maybe, so, but you shouldn't be worried about the Germans, they are really friendly, but you just have to talk to them. <coughs> For example, in my, in my Wohnheim in Sieglitzhof, on our floor there are lots of people from uh, Franken, and I have great difficulty understanding some of them when they're um, conversing together. 
because they speak so very rapidly and there are words in their dialect that I just don't know. And when I, when I came, I didn't know, for example, that net was not, or nicht, and I didn't know various other bits of local culture, but that's, that's again part of the fun. It can be a little, it can be a little intimidating at first when you think, when you arrive and think, okay, I have reasonable German skills, and then suddenly you can't understand people, but... You have, you have to ask. If you go to Germany, you, ha you have to ask people, please, can you help me, or can you tell me, and I think then people, the Germans, will, will help you. But if not, if you don't ask, then they, they think, okay, he, he'll just manage. Hmm. I guess that no country and no, um, nobody's like the same, so you just have to adapt anywhere you are and um, make the best out of it. And um, yeah, learn as much as possible and also give something back to the people you're staying with and yeah, enjoy yourself. So in general, it was a really good experience for me. Uh, both the university, my university studies and getting to know other people from all the world. So it was really nice to spend this semester here. I think it's a really excellent opportunity if anyone is in the position to spend a year abroad and they're not sure. Definitely do it because there are so many things that one can learn and experience in another country. <clears throat> and I'm confident that my experience here will look excellent on the CV, for example, and employers will look favourably upon the fact that you've taken the initiative to go and jump in at the deep end and try your strengths in, in, a, new, in a new environment. That's one thing, and the other thing is yeah, to make friends and to keep in contact and to see another culture.